Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Guys, I'm here to do a, a kind of fast video. A lot of news going on. I wasn't going to do a video today. I was just out. Uh, we went out and seen, uh, was just out with the homeless a little while. Just got back. It's 90 degrees here today. Really hot. Uh, so I said, oh, I'm going to just go home and relax and look at some things I want to look at. And I am going to be looking at some things and I'm going to share it with you. I'm going to be watching Chuck Mitchler, uh series of Revelation, the whole book of Revelation. I'm going to be doing that sometime today. But I want to share it with you guys later in the video as well. We can get the link and maybe join me to watch Revelations because we are in Revelation like never before in Daniel like never before. Uh, so much news is going on. So let me get on through here. Uh, quick like, subscribe, click the like button, click the notification bell. Uh, and I'm just going to try to get through these news today. Mostly going to focus on the news going on right now. Uh, that's why I have it on the screen. No music today, okay? I'm just going to jump right into the news. Uh, breaking news is going on right now that we need to know about if you haven't been uh, looking at things going on. I know that the funeral is taking up a lot of people's minds. Uh, I'm not watching it. Uh, so I'm watching other things. Uh, things in the Middle East. Uh, things going on right now in Ukraine. And so I have a lot of people going to be talking about Ukraine, uh, off-grid desert farmer. Uh, uh, I think uh, World News, uh, World News, talking about it. The gentleman, uh, Lewis, is talking about it. Uh, and then I'm gonna get into Dave Hodges a little bit. He's talking about something going on. And uh, then we're gonna end the video with the captivity of Satan and his angels. I'm not gonna have a long, long video today. I'm gonna come back and do a full video probably tomorrow, uh, Wednesday. Don't know tomorrow maybe. Uh, so. Uh, Let's get on into the news, okay? Because this is what this is about. This video is mostly focusing on the news today, okay? Let me go ahead and get on over to some news. Uh, but first, I do have to go over here to, uh, uh, I think it was some world, some stuff coming from uh, Israel. Then we're going to get an off-grid desert farming and earthquakes. Dutch Sense Report is here. Other people news are here. So I'm just going to run through a lot of things here uh, for you to see, people. So let me go ahead now. Father, be with us in this video. We know we have a lot of news going on around the world. Uh, we have a lot of things happening. We know we're in the end at the end. So help us to know, to pray that we'll be worthy, worthy to escape these things coming on the earth, Father. We thank you so much for this video today. So let's go ahead and watch some news here. Let me go ahead and mute it out. Okay. TV7 Israel News is made possible thanks to your generous donations. Shalom, good evening. This is TV7 Israel News broadcast to you from Jerusalem and in today's top stories. Tensions are seemingly running high throughout the West Bank districts of Judea, Samaria and the Jordan Valley. At least five Syrian soldiers were killed after unidentified aircraft struck Damascus International Airport and other locations south of the Syrian capital over the weekend. IDF Chief of General Staff Lieutenant General Aviv Kochavi responds to Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi, who cast doubt over whether the Holocaust occurred and stressed the need to research the matter. Tensions are running high throughout the West Bank districts of Judea, Samaria and the Jordan Valley, where Israel's defense organizations are engaged in a relentless effort to root out terror as part of Operation Waves Breaker. RDF, ISA or Shin Bet and Border Police Special Operations Forces conducted counterterrorism activity over the weekend, during which 39 terror suspects were successfully apprehended. Moreover, a number of weapon smugglers were apprehended and dozens of small arms were located and confiscated. And while a number of exchanges of fire were cited, no injuries were thankfully reported among the Israeli troops. It is important to highlight that in an address to the annual conference of the Institute for Counterterrorism at Reichmann University last week, Israel Security Agency Director Ronen Bell highlighted the worrying trend in rise in violence, which stems from the inadequate efforts by the Palestinian Authority to assert its governance, effectively forcing the Israeli defense establishment to assume the role of enforcer. <laughs> Alimut Bayosh Goa, Nichnasnulemen Magal Sagur, 
נוכח ריבוי צירי טרור והיעדר טיפול מספק על ידי המנגנונים, נוכח משילות מוגבלת, נדרשים אנשינו להיכנס למעצרים וסיכולים מדי לילה. סופגים אש ומייצרים בעצם שמיכת הגנה לאזרחי ישראל בלב השטח. המחיר, המחיר הוא גם נפגעים פלסטינים וירידה נוספת במעמדם של המנגנונים. ספרנו השנה למעלה מ-130 אירועי ירי, זאת למול 98 בכל 21 ו-19 ב-2020. זהו רק ביטוי אחד להיעדר משילות, להיקף האמל"ח ולקושי באפקטיביות עבודת מנגנוני הביטחון. מנגד סיכלנו 312 פיגועים משמעותיים, הווה אומר דקירה, ירי, התאבדות, דריסה, ביצענו למעלה מ-2,000 מעצרים והעלינו בעשרות אחוזים את היקף המעצרים של סוחרי אמל"ח. The Israel Security Agency Director continued by underscoring the importance of bolstering the Palestinian Authority's governance despite its reluctance of assuming the necessary role. ראשית הצירים להרגעת השטח בהעצמת פעילות מנגנוני הביטחון הפלסטינים. גם הציבור הפלסטיני רוצה בכך, אבל הטנגו הזה דרושים שניים. Turning to Israel's northern border with Syria, where four suspects were reportedly spotted hurling objects along the security fence from the Syrian side into Israeli territory this morning. According to the IDF spokesperson's unit, IDF troops were consequently dispatched to the scene, crossed the border, and operated to stop the Syrian suspects by firing toward the legs of one of them. As a result, one of the suspects sustained injuries and was evacuated by an IDF helicopter to a nearby hospital for further treatment. No additional information was provided. In other yet related news, a number of missile salvos appeared over the skies of Damascus on Friday night when unidentified aircraft reportedly roamed the skies of Syria, evidently undetected. According to the Syrian regime-run Sana News Agency, the aerial strike occurred at approximately 12.45 a.m., during which Syria's aerial defense array was triggered in a futile attempt to thwart the attack. While the first wave of missiles reportedly struck the Damascus International Airport, a second wave of projectiles targeted Syria's anti-air batteries, which resulted in the death of at least five Syrian troops. And while the Syrian regime blamed Israel for the deadly strike, the IDF spokesperson's unit did not confirm or deny its alleged responsibility. Meanwhile, an intelligence source revealed to TV7 that there is an uptick in Iranian efforts to transport arms to Syria in breach of Jerusalem's red lines. And while the intelligence source did not divulge whether this was the case in the alleged Israeli attack on Friday night, Israel's Parliamentary Foreign Affairs and Defense Committee Chairman, Ram Ben Barak, recently leveled a warning to the Assad regime saying, if planes whose purpose is to encourage terrorism land, Syria's transport capacity will be harmed. Turning to Poland, where an IDF delegation headed by Chief of General Staff, Lieutenant General Aviv Kochavi, toured concentration camp Auschwitz-Birkenau, at the culmination of which, the top Israeli officer proclaimed that one does not need to be a historian or a researcher to understand the horrors of the Holocaust. המהירים שבשורשים פילסו באדישות את שכבות האפר, את השורשים האחרים עיכבו המתים. אם החובקת את ביתה, ואב המגונן על הוריו המבוגרים. אך לא רק העצים נשארו לזכור איך רשע צרוף הפך למנגנון ושיטה חובקת יבשת. מנגנון שרצח וכיסה כל זכר כדי למחות ולגדוע את שורשי עם ישראל. מנגנון שעוד רגע והצליח לדחוס את עברו המפואר והעשיר של העם היהודי אל תוך תנורי השרפה ולהותיר ממנו עשן. אך שורשי העם לא נגדעו, העדויות גברו מהרי הנעליים והלקחים גברו מהרי האפר. לא צריך להיות היסטוריון ולא חוקר כדי להבין את זוועת השואה, צריך להיות בן אנוש. 
General Kochavi's remarks were evidently a deliberate response to remarks made by Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi, who said during an interview with Leslie Stoll at 60 Minutes of CBS News that while there are some signs that the Holocaust happened, if so, it should allow it to be investigated and researched. And while questioning the validity of the Holocaust, the Iranian leader continued by asserting that Israel is a false regime which occupies Palestinian lands. Meanwhile, in a seeming message to the United States, France, Britain and Germany, the Israeli military top commander stressed that whoever lies and denies the Holocaust will naturally lie about his nuclear aspirations. מי שמשקר ומתכחש לאמת ולהיסטוריה הכואבת והמוצקה, בקלות משקר היום ובטבעיות ישקר בעתיד. זוהי תזכורת נוספת לכך שאסור לאפשר לאנשים כאלה להחזיק כל יכולת מכל סוג לפיתוח נשק להשמדה המונית. It is worth highlighting that the Iranian president naturally sought to portray the Islamic Republic as a victim of Western bullying, dubbing American sanctions against the Ayatollah regime as tyrannical. Moreover, when asked about proven allegations regarding past activities to acquire nuclear weapons by Iran, Raisi insisted that these claims were baseless lies. According to Raisi, Iran's use of nuclear power is meant for peaceful reasons such as medicine, agriculture, oil and gas, despite IAEA reports revealing that merely 1.8% of Iran's electricity is generated by nuclear power. As further, whether the Ayatollah regime is serious about reaching a diplomatic solution to its nuclear file, President Raisi said the following. If it's a good deal and fair deal, we would be serious about reaching an agreement. It needs to be lasting. There needs to be guarantees. If there were a guarantee, then the Americans could not withdraw from the deal. Turning to Jerusalem, where Israeli Prime Minister Yair Lapid announced in opening remarks to his weekly cabinet meeting, that a new bilateral agreement with Germany includes roughly 200 million shekels in financial support for Holocaust survivors. יקבלו כל חודש תוספת של 1,200 שקלים. וההסכם הזה מצטרף למהלכים נוספים שהובלנו השנה, במסגרתם גייסנו ממדינות העולם, גם מתקציב המדינה, למעלה מ-2.6 מיליארד שקלים למען השורדים והשורדות. Therefore, if you're blessed by our productions, please consider making a financial contribution that in turn will enable us to sustain our ongoing operations. Additionally, I would like to encourage you, pray for our persecuted brothers and sisters worldwide, for the peace of Jerusalem and salvation of Israel. I'm Jonathan Essen, wishing you a Shavua Mevorach, and we will see you again tomorrow at the same time. All right, guys, uh, it's going to be, I'm going to go through a lot of material, but quickly, okay? It's going to be a little bit of his report. There's some other reports uh, from Lewis in Florida and different reports. Dutch Sense got a report, uh, different reports. So I'm going to go through them quickly because uh, some of them might be repetitious a little bit. But I uh, just want you to know uh, all this stuff is going on. Patty, thank you so much for your email. <laughs> yes, yes, it's a lot going on. Absolutely. She sent this to me. And I thought it was kind of cool, so I'm going to have to share it with you guys. She sent me this here a uh, while ago. Just then, uh, powerful 7.6 earthquake strikes. Uh, they said 2 million people. I think Lewis and Florida are going to be talking about this some more in some other uh, clippings here. But, uh, yeah, we got a lot going on, and uh, I am up on it. She was asking me, uh, I know you are up. I know you are on it <laughs> at the end, in the end. <laughs> Yep, thank you so much. Yeah, we are up on it. We are watching all these things come to pass. 
uh, Alaska is just so much going on, these storms and just everything's taking place. So we're going to go on over here and hear some other reports right now uh, from a brother here and then some other reports. I just want you guys to know, and I don't want to forget this, but I'm telling you guys today, this is what I'm going to be focusing on. This is 24, uh, probably a session of 124, 24 videos covering the whole book of Revelation with Dr. Chuck Mishler. I'm not saying, uh, I'm just sharing it with you guys if you want to take part of it. Because it's time to keep your eyes on the prize. Yeshua Messiah, hiya. Uh, it's time to keep your eyes on the prize, okay? He's the only one that's going to be King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And we know we got a lot of this going on right now on the news today. The funeral taking place. And uh, we got a lot of things. King Charles and William and all the people over there, the uh, Windsors, uh, the families there. But I'm telling you guys... Uh, we just got to keep watching. We were talking to the homeless people today about the Bible. He, uh, he was glad to get a Bible, one of the brothers. Uh, I have to go and pull those up at the end. But, oh, man, it's just exciting times, isn't it? So uh, let's go on over here and get into the other news right now. Let me go ahead and mute it out again. Hello, everybody. This is Paul from Off Grid Desert Farming with Paul and Adrian. This is Sunday. September the 18th, 2022. So we have some very exciting breaking news for you guys that we are definitely living in the last days of the book of Revelation. We have a video that has just come out showing Chinese troop, a Chinese troop convoy in Ukraine right now on September the 18th, 2022. We were wondering when China was going to get involved, and it does look like that we have video proof now of Chinese troops traveling through a highway in uh, Ukraine with Chinese markings on the vehicles, and these are Chinese uh, vehicles, folks. They are not Russian. So I want to welcome everyone to our channel tonight. Please share this video out. If you if uh, if you value uh, the information that we give you, please share this video out. People need to know how close that we are to a major confrontation with Russia and China, which are two nuclear superpowers, folks, both China and Russia. So Russia has the technology. Russia has hypersonic weapons. They have the technology, and China has the manpower. Are we going up against China and Russia now? Will we challenge China now, which is going to be helping Russia? Now, we did a broadcast just the other day, and we told you guys that President Vladimir Putin and Xi Jinping of China had just met on the sidelines of the Shanghai Cooperation meeting that they just had of a couple of days ago. And President Xi Jinping made the uh, speech stating that he was going to help President Vladimir Putin. He was going to give him his assistance in Ukraine. That was 72 hours ago. Now we see this happening on the ground right now. So let me go ahead and bring you the video. This is coming in from Hal Turner, folks. And a lot of people, they don't like Hal Turner. But I trust Hal Turner, folks. Otherwise, I would not use him. So let's go ahead and look at this breaking news coming in right now. Bulletin. Chinese military convoy enters Ukraine from Russia. And we do have the video. So let's go ahead and read this. This is a news bulletin from Hal Turner. Bulletin at 3.08 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Sunday, September the 18th, 2022. My former colleagues in the intelligence community during my years with a joint, uh, the FBI Joint Terrorism Task Force has sent me images of Chinese army units now entering Ukraine from Russia. The images below and some video, which is still being analyzed, show a small convoy, a very small convoy of general military transport type trucks and some smaller vehicles akin to Humvees traveling via the public roads from Russia into Ukraine. These are the images I am able 
to release so far. So you can see this is painted up in Chinese colors, folks. If you know anything about the Chinese military camo that they use on their vehicles, this is it. And there is the Chinese logo on the side. So let's go ahead and look at another. You can see the Chinese logo here and some of the uh, 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 lettering on the vehicles. Now, these are the Chinese version of our Humvees right here. This is the Chinese version of our Humvees. They look very similar, but they are different. And you can see they're also painted up with the Chinese camouflage and the red symbol on the doors. This simple small act changes the entire dynamic of the Russian-Ukraine situation. Ukraine, the United States, and the United Kingdom, and all of NATO have just found out that China is now an active participant and came in on the side of Russia. <clears throat> The stakes and the situation just went so high, they went completely off the chart. It is no understatement to say that this is an earth-shattering development. More when I get it. Video coming within minutes. So this is a video, folks. I'm going to put it, I want to see if I can put this on the big screen for you guys. So I'm going to play this video for you right now. It's about a minute long, but it is showing uh, the Chinese convoy, folks, and it it's uh it's quite a large convoy so let me go ahead and mute my mic and then we're going to play this video for you Союзники зашли без захах вам. Союзники идут нынешние. Это уже вторая колонна, которую сегодня встречаем. So you can definitely see this convoy that is going through the streets uh, of Ukraine right now. These are uh, Chinese, uh, it does look like uh, troop carrying trucks. They are painted uh, with the Chinese camouflage. If you look at the truck, I'm going to stop the video. This is the Chinese camouflage pattern that they use on their military vehicles. And if you see right here, the red Chinese uh, logo on the side of the truck and coming up um, is another large truck but if you listen to the video I just played I played it with the sound it does look like they are speaking Russian but this is the uh, this is the proof that China now is involved uh, let's see hold on let me go back and you can actually see the Chinese writing on this truck right now I'm going to stop it right about here so right up here, you can see the lettering. This is in Chinese on, it looks like a tanker truck right here. So let me keep on playing this video. Uh, and these are the Chinese versions of our Humvee. It is, a, looks like a knockout or a knockoff on our American Humvee. So this is the video proof, folks. This is the video proof that China now has entered the war in Ukraine on the side of Russia.
going on? My name is Louis. Today is September 18, 2022, and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. Before I start, guys, give this video a big thumbs up and share this video. We got some breaking news updates, and guys, we have some huge information coming out. A powerful earthquake 6.9 strikes the island, triggering tsunami warning. Now, guys, yesterday there was a 6.4 that also caused a tsunami warning. So what's going on in the island? Now, a lot of people are saying that there's a possibility the Red Dragon might be striking something uh, near the island that is causing all this great magnitude. And I want to show you something really quick. Check this video out going around on Twitter right now. My goodness. Some strong earthquake going on. There was a bridge also that collapsed. Look at this one. Now, I saw this this morning. I'm like, why is people on top of that bridge just taking videos? I mean, because this thing could collapse. This thing is already uh, snapped in half. So a lot of people were in fear, um, feeling the second magnitude back to back. So once again, guys, and I heard it was a 7.4, and that's a strong magnitude, but it downgraded to a 6.9. Give me a second here. Let me see if there's any more videos. Uh, an earthquake, a magnitude 7.2, hit off the coast of the island. So guys, once again, continue to pray for many people out there. And this area is notorious uh when it comes to earthquake this is a pacific ring of fire they say earthquake volcanic activity and mega tsunami so earthquake in the island look at that world news report today today is september 19th 2022 2 p.m central here in the u.s god bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world folks please subscribe give us a thumbs up Ring that bell for critical future updates. Well, we've had a magnitude 7.6 earthquake strike Mexico with an associated tsunami warning. Minutes ago, when I pulled it up, it registered a 10 on the DYFI and an 8 on the shake map. They're downgrading this thing as quickly as possible. A 7.6 magnitude at 15.1 kilometers. And of course, it's where two plate boundaries are trying to meet or get together. Also on a volcanic ridge. Scary stuff. This is an absolutely huge earthquake. This pressure will push its way up into the Sea of Cortez and into California by the end of today. You bet. going on my name is louis today is september 18 2022 and welcome to the grand supreme news channel before i start guys give this video a big thumbs up and share this video we got some breaking news updates and guys we have some huge information coming out puerto rico loses power across entire island as hurricane fiona nears all right just like the title said hurricane fiona nears it's not even hitting the island which again this article was posted three hours ago so there's a possibility now fiona is striking the island but this is a uh, this is very strange right here guys look i lived in puerto rico for many many years and the big one i seen was 1998 hurricane george and that was huge and we had power guys we still have power but this storm didn't even touch the island yet, and already everybody lost power. The entire island, dark. Everywhere. Now, people's going to be like, Louis, the power grid is not good for Hurricane Maria. Yes, I can understand that. But it's been more than five, six years. Mr. Burns is sending billions out there to the yellow and blue country every week. He, he left behind $100 billion worth of stuff to those crazy group in afghan so what about the sleeping giant territory what about the sleeping giant people when are they gonna come first so once again guys it didn't even touch puerto rico in the 
entire island completely in dark. All right, guys, before. Yeah, people, so much happening. That's why I say I'm going to try to do a quick video, a 30-minute, uh, too, not too long of a video. But I want you guys to know, uh, uh, no, I want you to know about Dutch Sense report. You need to go watch his report. I might play a very little bit of it, but he's talking about the very thing, same thing from yesterday, a 7.2 earthquake strike Taiwan. And, you know, he gave a lot of other uh, predictions and things like that. So... You need to go probably watch his report. Uh, I will put all these links in the description box. And then I'm going to go on over here and hear one more video. And I'm going to let you guys go because I don't want this to be extremely long. I thought I had my friend up here. I don't have him up here? Wow. I thought I had him up here. That's about the quake. I don't see uh, my brother. So if I don't see him here, I'm going to put it in the description box. Coming from uh, Dave Hodges, yeah, he's talking about something going on in New York City I want to share, but I don't even see him up here. That's really weird. So I must be got lost in the shuffle somewhere, so I will put him in the description box. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead on over here to Maranatha and end this video. I want you guys to make sure you go and listen to Dr. Chuck Missler. He's not on the planet any longer, but... His teachings are pretty phenomenal sometimes. So I'm going to be going through his book of Revelation. I haven't been through his book of Revelation. I've been through another pastor one time, book of Revelation. But if you want to join me with this and, and, and follow up on it, we can talk about it later. But Revelation is where we are at right now, people, uh, and Daniel. So I think I have my little people down here. Uh, Daniel, uh, you know, we are in the end at the end. The bear and war and all kind of things are going on on the planet right now. It's hard to keep up with stuff. I, I don't even know why I don't have him up here, Dave Hodges. I don't know how I got shoved in the shovel. But anyway, uh, let me go ahead and get on over here to Maranatha. And uh, I'm going to let you guys go because I want to go join my husband. And we're going to be watching Revelation today. Uh, we're going to try to get through two or three chapters of it if we can. Uh, and you need to be following it as well because we are really going to be going through some times of trouble, uh, early time of trouble, great time of trouble, uh, and it's time to really get ready, keep people for what's coming. But when Yeshua come, he said his captivity, the captivity of Satan and his angels, okay? And I'm telling you, that's why we should, when he come, he's coming with rewards. He told us not to be going over to the desert, not to go to the secret chambers, not to go here. So I'm going to just go on over here quickly before I get to Maranatha. Let me just do that real quick. Go over here real quick before I get to Maranatha and close out. I don't want it to be an extremely long video, but if you go on over here to Matthew 24, and you will see uh, uh, all these things that Yeshua talked about is happening right before us people. So we need to be understanding, it's time for us to understand. See, the abomination of desolation is right close coming up. I don't know, but I know we're watching. They got the red heifers over in Israel. Uh, they got everything lining up. So uh, the abomination of desolation. So when you see the appalling, appalling sacrilege spoken of by that, Spoken of by the prophet Daniel, standing in a holy place. Let the reader take notice and ponder and consider and heed. Uh, we need to be understanding these things. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let him who is on the housetop not come down and go into the house to take anything. And let him who is in the field not turn back to get his overcoat. And alas, for the women who are pregnant and for those who have nursing babies in those days, pray that your flight may not be in winter or on a Sabbath. And then there will be great tribulation, distress and oppression such as has not been from the beginning of the world until now, no and never will be. And if those days have been not shortened, no human would endure and survive. But for the sake of the elect, God's chosen ones, those days will be shortened. If anyone says to you then, behold, here is Christ the Messiah, uh, there he is, do not believe it. For false Christ and false prophets will arise, and they will show great signs and wonders, as I've been talking about, miracles, people, uh, so as to deceive and lead astray, if possible, even the elect, God's chosen ones. See, I have warned you beforehand. 
So if they say to you, behold, he is in the wilderness, he is in the desert, do not go out there. If they tell you, behold, he is in the secret places or the inner rooms, do not believe it. For such as the lightning flashes from the east and shines and is seen as far as the west, so will it come in the Son of Man be. So I'm going to stop there, people. I'm telling you, we need to be getting ready, getting ready, getting ready. All these things are written. It is happening, already getting ready. These people over there, these evil kings are rising and i'm telling you wow babe wow key people i'm telling you it's time to awaken 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 my husband and i were just talking about how we can't even keep up with all these things going on uh so we need to go on let me go on over here and uh mute this out and get into maranatha and end this video november heaven and earth during the millennium November 1, the captivity of Satan and his angels. The angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness under the judgment of the great day. Jude 6. The earth looked like a desolate wilderness. Cities and villages shaken down by the earthquake lay in heaps. Mountains had been moved out of their places, leaving large caverns. Ragged rocks thrown out by the sea or torn out of the earth itself were scattered all over its surface. Large trees had been uprooted and were strewn over the land. Here is to be the home of Satan with his evil angels for a thousand years. Here he will be confined to wander up and down over the broken surface of the earth and see the effects of his rebellion against God's law. For a thousand years he can enjoy the fruit of the curse which he has caused. Limited alone to the earth, he will not have the privilege of ranging to other planets to tempt and annoy those who have not fallen. During this time, Satan suffers extremely. Since his fall, his evil traits have been in constant exercise, but he is then to be deprived of his power and left to reflect upon the part which he has acted since his fall and to look forward with trembling and terror to the dreadful future when he must suffer for all the evil that he has done and be punished for all the sins that he has caused to be committed. I heard shouts of triumph from the angels and from the redeemed saints, which sounded like ten thousand musical instruments because they were to be no more annoyed and tempted by Satan, and because the inhabitants of other worlds were delivered from his presence and his temptations. To God's people, the captivity of Satan will bring gladness and rejoicing. Says the prophet, It shall come to pass in the day that Jehovah shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy trouble and from the hard service wherein thou wast made to serve, that thou shalt take up this parable against the king of Babylon, here representing Satan, and say, How hath the oppressor ceased? Jehovah hath broken the staff of the wicked, the scepter of the rulers that smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke that ruled the nations in anger with a persecution that none restrained. Verses 3 to 6, Revised Version. All right, people, I'm going to go. let you guys go. Uh, I really appreciate you guys coming here to join me today for this quick video. But I'm going to say, you know, we need to be really watching things in the news right now. There's a lot going to be going on. Every day is going to get worse and worse, wax worse and worse, as the Father said. So it's time for us to get ready. It's time for us to get ready, people. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and close out. Uh, Father, be with us as we close out because so many things are going on. Click subscribe, like bell, click the like button, click the notification bell. Thank you for all your offerings to help the homeless, the orphans, the widows, those in need in mission fields. May Yahuwah richly bless each and every one of you. Uh, donation uh, at Cash App. Uh, also, our ca hashtags here, I'm sorry. Uh, also, our digital business card. Uh, you can go there as well. Uh, also, our donation options at fmcmi.org at our website, marner.com at gmail.com, PayPal. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. You can mail in your donations at Fill My Cup Ministries, Post Office Box 414, Canyon City, Colorado, 81215. Shipping address, Fill My Cup Ministries, 1501 Main Street, number 414, Canyon City, Colorado, 81212. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and close out uh, with prayer. 
<clears throat> we know these uh, things are all around us, okay? These prophecies are fulfilling very quickly. Uh, Father, be with us as we are in the end, at the end. We ask that you be with all the people watching today. We thank you so much for all you do for us, Father. I bind Satan right now and all his evil angels below, beyond, beneath, mentioned and unmentioned, known and unknown. I bind all evil spirits on assignment against us. I bind up the spirit of backlash. I bind up the spirit of every hex and vex and voodoo and black magic and witchcraft and sorcery. We bind up all the Nephilim spirits, crossbreed spirits, half-breed spirits, strongman spirits. We bind them all up in the mighty name of Yeshua Messiah Haya. Father, we ask that you loose your fire, your fire, your Holy Spirit over your people at this hour in these evil times my god we need you more than ever my god no weapon formed against your people will prosper we ask that you help us to get through it my father as you said to pray 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 without ceasing you said to pray and not faint hallelujah you said to pray and not faint but you also said to pray that we will have uh, uh we will be, you know we'll be uh, able to uh, uh escape these things coming on the earth that we'll be worthy to escape these things coming so father help us to be worthy, worthy, worthy. Uh, we ask that you be with all the people supplying their needs, whether it's physical, mentally, spiritually, and we thank you for listening, Father, to all our needs and supplying all our needs. Uh, so many people in need and so many people homeless, so many people are going through eviction, so many people are going through mental health issues, so many people are going through marriage or problems, so many people are going through, wow, Salvation problems need the Father, need the, a, a, a Savior in their life, Father, need Yeshua, Messiah. As you said in John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So, Father, we ask for everlasting life this day, and we ask it in Yeshua, Messiah, Jesus' name. Thank you so much, Father, for being our God all by yourself. Hallelujah. So I'm going to let you guys go. I will be back with another video, a more full video. Uh, we'll be getting into the missions reports, and we'll be getting into uh, some other things going on. Uh, but I'm telling you guys, please go and try to listen to Revelation uh, if you're not familiar with Revelation. And I'm going to come back and announce a winner. We're going to have a drawing we're going to do uh, every time of the fall feast coming in. We always do a, a drawing. I'm going to do a drawing to give away a prize pack uh, for a Feast of Trumpets, okay? So uh, we'll be doing that, and I'll see you guys in another video. I love you guys so much. Thanks so much for all you do. Uh, we really appreciate each and every one of you. Shabbat shalom. Uh, Shabbat shalom. Shalom shalom. Okay. I love you guys so much. Shalom shalom. <laughs>